I, I know you're far from that, Chris, but do you ever experience lower emotions? Not very often, really, because I have, through my own work, through my own technology of consciousness, I have learned how to get out of that. So, like anyone else, I can say, oh, this is not moving fast enough, you know, and then I can use my technology of consciousness to shift. Part of that is learning how to see beyond the future, uh, but to see the potential. Mm -hmm. One of the things that personally my own higher self has been teaching me over the last five years is there's not one answer. There are many answers. Therefore, there are many solutions and many possibilities. How many can you find? That's been the challenge that's been given to me by my own inner voice. And so uh, if I have a moment of despair, let's say, because I see, I can see outcomes uh, or potential outcomes. And, but I've learned how to realize that uh, we, we have to uh, extend our awareness so that everyone else can have a, a place in that. You know? In one of my books, I was talking about your projects or our being successful. And one of the uh, things that, that my higher self says is, first you want to ask inside, is this mine to do? And is this the moment? You know, because in that way there is a time. But I wouldn't call it time, I would call it a synergistic um, uh, flow of energy. It's just like if you want to call somebody on the phone, if you were to stop and say, should I call them now and listen to your own answer, you would find that every time you call someone, it is the exact moment they're thinking of you or they are available for your idea, they're present. But if you just go, I need to do this, and we rush along that way. That's that thing that, that's that illusion that it's what we do that counts. And having six near death experience and being with so many people at the moment of their death, I can tell you that all of the things that you've done will make no difference at all at the moment of your death. And, um